Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here and in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys some test footage that I've gotten from the Canon M50. This is all going to be 1080p stuff, um, 1080p 30 frames per second and then 1080p 60 frames per second so you see some slow motion. I will include the 720p 120 frames per second. In my opinion that mode's kind of useless, it's just a little bit of a gimmick if you ask me. Um, 720p really isn't a standard anywhere. I mean, it's nice to have just to say you have it. And I'm sure there's some application out there somewhere if you just want super slow motion, don't care much about the resolution. Uh, but I'll include it just uh, for the sake of showing it. I'll do a separate video for 4K because I'm gonna upload this one in 1080p. And so uh, without much ado, let's get into it. Okay, that's too close. That's a little bit better. All right, so I got some footage with the kit lens, the 18 to 135, I think it is. And now this is my Sigma 18 to 35. Yeah, 18 to 35 art lens. Um, this is one of my favorite lenses just in general, just because it has such a shallow depth of field. Um, I'm at 1.8 right now. I had to crank up my shutter speed because um, I don't have any ND filters on and the ISO's down and it's bright outside. Um, so uh, this is, like I said, one of my favorite lenses to use. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have image stabilization within the lens, but uh, just standing here, it doesn't look too bad, um, just with the camera on this Manfrotto Pixie tripod. So let's walk around a little bit. Um, wow, my bag is a lot lighter when this lens is not in it. Um, and you can see where, uh, compared to my other lens where I was walking, how this one, um, maybe is a little bit more shaky now it is heavier so it should be theoretically steadier holding and i am holding it pretty much right where the center point of the weight is um, but still you're going to get a little bit of um, bounciness just because oh my this is like straight up mud in here uh, you are going to get a little bit of bounciness still just because there is no image stage image stabilization at all within the lens but still i think it looks pretty good And so it was freezing cold outside, and now I'm back inside. Um, now this is with a third-party lens adapter and then my Sigma lens that I use with my C100 on. Um, and as you can see, there is some noise, like I said, when it's focusing. But if I'm out here and I come in close, I mean, it's quick. I mean, I don't... Okay, I might be past the focal length. It's trying to focus on me. There you go. I mean, that's pretty quick if you ask me. And I'm watching the face tracking now and it works pretty well. And this is even with the third party adapter and a non-native lens and it works well. Um, and it works well too with the native lenses. So there's no issues there. And so if you're thinking about buying a Canon M50, hopefully this video test helped inform you of what the footage looks like in different situations. And so if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe for more videos from me. 
Probably gonna have a lot more Canon M50 videos coming since I just got the camera and there's a lot of stuff I wanna go over and feature here on the channel. And make sure you follow me on my social links. They are down in the description below. Tyler Miller TV on Instagram and Twitter. And that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.